In our gospel today, we hear another miracle that Jesus performed, and on this time, it was about a deaf and mute person who has this speech impediment and who has been healed of, through the goodness of Jesus. And yet, focusing on the greater aspect of the miracle itself in the gospel, not only confined to the physical ailment and impairment of the person, but, also, but as well as in our spiritual life. Going to the first reading of the story of the fall of man, that before this happened, where Adam and Eve were conscious that they were naked, they enjoyed a st state of holiness. But when they disobeyed God through the lies of the serpent, the devil who is the prince of lies, then their eyes were open and they know and they are actually conscious that they were naked. And henceforth, the story of the fall of men, the first sin of our parents that let death enter into humanity and corrupted the human nature. And from this on, human nature is impaired. Human nature is no longer perfect, that we always have this state of concupiscence, that we always have this sinful condition in us. And that is what the original sin would state to us, that we are always in need of God's mercy and healing. And the gospel story tells us that beyond the healing of the physical ailment and impairment of this man comes as well our spiritual healing. We entrust to the Lord our state and the condition of sinfulness, for this is who we are, a human condition, starting from the sin of our first parents. But we are not hopeless on this condition because God offers us the solution of the greatest evil in which we are the cause of it and yet are not the solutions to it but only God. Si Cristo mo'y ang tao mo'y hinungdan sa kasalanan apan ang ginoo mo'y nisulbad sa problema, sa dakong problema, sa katawhan, and the greatest, and this is the greatest problem of evil. And here, there is always the human cooperation. When Jesus asks, and when he healed this person, the deaf mute, he tells us that be open. He commands the openness of the person, not only in the openness of his physical capacities, but in his spiritual aspects of letting him to enter into his life. And this is also true in us who seek for healing, who seek for the grace and blessing of the Lord, unless we are open to ourselves and letting the Lord to rule over us, then we cannot experience the healing grace of God. It is in the openness of our hearts, it is in the openness of our mind and soul that we let the healing hand of the Lord to touch us. Aron diha sa pagtapion, sa iyahang kamot, sa atong kaugalingon, matagan kita o kaayuhan sa lawas o sa kalag. And we continue to seek for that because that is our condition. We continue to rely on that in Jesus because that is our condition. The moment we say that we are well, the moment we say that we are no longer in need of God, then we are like the serpent who based his lies to allure people and that, and that lie would also harm us. And that, would, and that lie would always be destructive on us. Then therefore, we continue to build upon the truth that we are always in need of God. We are always sick. We are always impaired. We are always imperfect. That we are always in need of Jesus. We are always in need of His healing hand. We are always in need of His saving grace so that we may continue to seek Him above all other things. Amen.